Welcome to another adventure everybody. We have Sir Michael here. We're doing some truck camping today at a local spot. Uh, we've got all the all the fixings and goodies. We've got a nice big table. We're under the tarp here. I'm going to be truck camping in the back. So it's going to be a good time. Uh, Mike's got his Subaru uh, Elite car camping setup going over there. But we'll do, a, we'll do a show of the quarters here in a little bit. But for now, we're just going to have a beverage, make some lunch, and hang out by the river. Check this out. Hopefully we can see the river here. It's a little soggy down there, so we're set a ways back. I don't know, maybe, I don't know, maybe 15 yards or so. Probably not even, but uh, actually, you know what? Let's take a look at the accommodations now. So here's the water. And here's our setup. 12 by 12 tarp, DIY fire pit. Homemade soup. Homemade soup, DIY fire pits, some music, some beer, and hopefully some trout. There are trout. There are trout about. <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> it's pretty much the last day of the season here in Rhode Island, so we're going to take a crack at it, see what happens, but we'll catch up with you in a few. If you don't have chips and salsa on a coffee table, are you even camping? <laughs> a coffee table. <laughs> that looks like, look at this thing. Boom. So today we are fishing with a new custom rod that I had uh, made. Well, I shouldn't say I had it made. My new buddy Cal makes custom fishing rods. And he had this fancy ultralight trout set up. Probably can't see it. But it's my first handmade rod. Cal, if you see the video, thanks, buddy. Um, and I put this Fluger reel on it so pretty nice setup the nicest setup i've ever owned so it's doing really well i like it a lot i haven't caught any fish but you know the rod itself is doing great <laughs> so if you have any interest in a custom rod give me a shout i'll give you cal's email he makes some pretty nice stuff he's working on a fly rod for me right now
So there we go. We're all set up in the back of the Ranger for the night. Got my foam mattress, my DIY bed set up. I've got my air rail. It's like a four and a half R rating pad under there. Partially inflated. Probably won't need to inflate it because of the foam. But it's there for extra comfort and a little bit of insulation. Magma 15 degree bag. Sorry, not Magma. Trail Pod 15 from REI. I've got a get out gear quilt in the back just in case I need it. That's my waiting gear. We're not going to be waiting today, but got a nice little setup. My lantern in there, my camping gear, fishing gear, trout be good stick. All that stuff is out of the way. So a nice little spot. And so we're just hanging out. I haven't had any luck on the fish yet, so this might not be a catch and cook video. This is probably just going to be a hanging out. Hanging out in a truck down by the river. <laughs> and we'll get a fire going here in a couple hours, but I'm having a good time. Pineapple Sriracha. It smells amazing. This is gonna be good. Bob's in cast iron Dutch oven bread. I made bread, Mike. I made bread. <laughs> yeah. Now give me a piece, <laughs> mofo. That's pretty good. Yeah. Bread. Right. 
Well, folks, we're retiring for the night. The weather's pretty gnarly out there right now. It's raining really bad. Uh, the river is rising quite a bit. I think we'll be all right, though. Uh, the temp's supposed to go down about 20 degrees or so. And within the next two hours, the temperature is going to drop from around 51, which it is right now, 51 degrees Fahrenheit. And it's supposed to drop down to, uh, I think it said 26 degrees or 25 degrees. So in two hours, we're talking about a 30 degree drop as well as uh, the rain changing to snow. So pretty, pretty wild conditions. It's a cramped spot in here, but man, am I glad to just be chilling in here and not, <laughs> not in a tent right now. But this is what we're working with. If you haven't seen it already, check it out. I'm doing all right. So we got the bed set up here. I got my, I'm on the rack. Got an extra quilt and my puffy coat if I need it. It's my pack over here with my camping stuff. I've got my rain gear. You can see that on a hanger. Um, and it's uh, we're on the diagonal. It's a tight fit, but you know. And I've got the uh, the commode over there in case I need to. But um, it's not it's not too bad. We're gonna work on the setup though, so. I'm gonna do some more videos here with my uh, with this with this setup and probably a little more testing and figure out what works and what doesn't. But I've got some ideas already some, for some things I want to change. Try to make it a little more comfortable in this tiny bed. Um, I know a lot of guys build uh, slide outs and all sorts of stuff, and you know I've thought about that and it would make it a lot easier to sleep in here, no doubt. But um, I've refrained because. One of the things that I want to be able to do when I'm, you know, sleeping in my truck is do it in places and, and not really stand out. If I didn't want to stealth camp or something like that, be able to do that without, you know, having my, you know, the glass in the back up and slide out, you know, pulled out. So right now, it's a regular old Ford, Ford Ranger with a, uh, you know with a white commercial cap on it it's a white truck white commercial cap doesn't look all that suspicious i'd probably get away with sleeping in it in a lot of places and that's why i that's why i got it but um reality of it is i don't do a lot of stealth camping so maybe i'll do something fancy but anyways enough rambling stay tuned for that stuff if you are interested in truck camping builds i will be working on this you know micro setup but for now it's, it's dry and I'm comfy and that's all that matters so we'll see you in the morning <sighs> morning folks it's about 7 a.m. slept pretty good stayed Stayed warm in the old truck camper. Definitely have some improvements in mind though, but that's to be expected, right? Well, it got really crazy last night. Um, I wanted to show you, but I didn't want to crack open that. <laughs> I didn't want to break the seal on the truck bed. So, a little bit of condensation in here, but it isn't bad considering how cold it is right now last night we were sitting out there and it was basically 50 degrees and kind of humid and raining and now it's um i think it's below like it's like 20 degrees right now fahrenheit so we're gonna get up get cracking break down our setups and our tarps and stuff and um we may have, uh, we may hit the road and grab breakfast somewhere. <sighs> but we'll see. Talk to you in a few. Pretty nice though to wake up in bed and be able to sit up in here and put your boots on and everything. <laughs> I'm going to link the uh, video for this build in the description if you haven't seen it already if you're new here 
if you have any interest in figuring out how to sleep in a five foot bed. It's a little tricky. There are some downsides, but being able to just kind of kick your feet off the side of the bed and put your boots on is cool. I can get suited up in here before I expose myself to the elements. the stake and the pole came down pretty dry I'll get you probably can't see from here everything's iced up already it's cold out there wind was gnarly last night tarp came down in the corner but God, it's freaking cold this morning what a difference so I wasn't kidding about the rain and the temp drop this morning. <laughs> we had the sock on the end of this pole here and the tarp set up and uh, as you can see it's basically a fixture now on that little piece. It's frozen solid. <laughs> I think it's like single digits right? Not single digits but teens we said. Yeah feel like anyway. It's freaking cold right now so all of our cordage is frozen solid. They're basically like poles. That, that 550 cord is like a pole right now. Um, so it stings the nostrils so we're breaking down and we're probably gonna roll out and head to a diner or something like that for breakfast this morning one of the beauties of truck camping right so and the water by the river here is freezing quickly so it's pretty uncomfortable I can't believe the temperature difference so um, the ammo can fire pit did did fantastic last night even after we crashed there's almost nothing left in there. Put the uh, put the lid on a little bit to keep some of the rain out last night towards the end, but it worked out well. So I think this is probably a good time for, for me to sign off. We're just gonna pack this tarp up and roll out. I don't have to pack anything up. One of the other beauties about the truck camping. So uh, if, you, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Any questions or comments about the setup or anything like that? Uh, you know, drop them in the comments below. Uh, if you made it this far, as usual, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. We'll see you next time.